Hi ho, hi ho, it's up to work we go. Hey, welcome back guys. Later on, I catch up with New Zealand iconic poet, Sam Hunt. But right now, come with me to experience the mysterious wonders of ancient Cody. Yeah, right. Ooh, Corinne, mysterious. <gasps> Master woodturner Rick Taylor turns Northland's ancient swamp Cody into beautiful art. We're here at his Dugaville studio to find out more about his passion. Everybody, meet my friend Rick Taylor for Rick. Now, can you tell us what a woodturner is? A woodturner is a man who uses a wood lathe. The wood lathe spins the wood, and from there, the wood turner cuts the wood and makes a shape. Now you're world famous for working with ancient swamp Cody. How old is it? Up to 50,000 years buried. 50,000 years? So the piece I'm going to turn today is 3,860 years buried. Because this carry has been buried underground, it has lost its stability. So therefore it's become quite soft when it comes out of the swamp the earth stain has made it go a golden leaf colour. Oh, gorgeous. And that's why they call it the golden cowrie. And now you're working with it and creating beautiful pieces of art. That's right. And what are we going to make today? Well, today we're going to make a mess. <laughs> and we're going to teach you uh, the basic cuts of wood turning. Mm -hmm. Shall we get to it? Let's turn this baby on, Let's Rick. turn this baby on. This tool here is called a gouge. A gouge. I'm going to run that across the wood like so. Now I'm going to move over here. And I'm going to put this in your hand. Now I want you to run that along the wood. Oh my gosh. Run it along. That's it. Right, so that's the basic how to cut wood. Do you feel like a wood turner? <laughs> I feel like a wood turner. Now what I'm going to make now is a candle holder. A candle holder, okay. Now we're going to start coming back this way like this. You think you can do that by yourself now? No. Of course you can. <laughs> now just start going down like this. Okay. Now I'm going to pick up what we call a finisher. And I'm going to do a finishing cut, ready for sanding. But before we start sanding, we're going to wet it with oil. And we're going to rub this on the water and let it sink in. We're going to take it right down through the different grades of sandpaper, make it all nice and smooth and then polish it. So you have to go through 18 grades? 18 grades of paper. Why can't you go from the... Because you leave marks in the wood, and when you polish it, you see all scratch marks. I can't believe how much work goes into this. All right, Rick, I can see a candle holder taking shape, but I don't think it's as good as one of your pieces. No, it's not quite as good as one of my pieces. <laughs> but at least you've tried. I better get back to work then. So this is what a candle holder is supposed to look like? Definitely. <laughs> How long does it take to craft a piece of your artwork? If it's a hollow pot, it may take me four, four and a half hours. If it's a candle holder, then I can probably put one of them out in 15 minutes. Well, I could just take this. Well, you could, <laughs> but you have to get past me first. <laughs> well, I just want to say thank you so much to Rick for showing us the passion that lies behind turning ancient Swamp Cody. Do you guys want to know more? Check out the website below. Thanks again. Right. See you later. Bye. Sam Hunt has been writing and performing poetry for over five decades. His passion for words have made him one of New Zealand's most legendary poets. So we're lucky enough to be invited here to his whale in the beautiful Paparoa. Let's go meet Sammy. Music. New Zealand, this is my new friend, poet and New Zealand icon, Mr. Sam Hunt. Talo for lover. How do you do? I do. I'm, I'm good, brother. Oh, you're good. You're good. Talofa? Talofa. Talofa. Talofa, Tal 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 Sam. Hi. And we're here at your beautiful folly with uh, this beautiful scenery. Where are we, bro? We're on the one of the reaches of the Kuiper Harbour. 
And I've always loved the Kuiper Harbour from when I was very young. I think because of its silences, I've always attracted to silence. I'm alive out to live, clear of any city, live as we do five gunshots from humanity. That's the way we keep it. So we live five gunshots from humanity. You do. I love it. <laughs> now, how old were you when you wrote your first poem? I came across this poem and it's got Sam, Sam Hunt at the bottom. Not Sammy Hunt, Sam Hunt. <laughs> well, I, think it was, it. I think it was written around about Christmas time. It was pretty corny, but it was a like, seven-year-old, you know. Climb up the cliff path to the pines where through their needles salt winds blow and far below the fish and ocean go. And down the cliff path home, bring one lone small Christmas tree and by the beach, let it in warm winds grow. You wrote that when you were seven years old. Seven years old. What inspires you to write your poems? Oh, I don't know. The sound of a word, the sound of a phrase. You get a, you get a, something going in your head. Every poem has its own life, and it has, and every poem has its own conception and birth, and sometimes death. I like that. Every poem has its own life. So, are you helping bring the poems to life? I'm the midwife. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm the midwife. Uh, I, you know, I say, come on, I know. And then they say, just another ten-toed, ten-fingered miracle. <laughs> Sammy, this is my first time up north, and I absolutely love it. What do you love about the Northland? Yeah, I drove trucks for a while when I was about 18, up in the far north. And I always like the outlaw quality about it, apart from anything else, especially out the west, on the west side, not the east. That's, that's all the big flash mansions and things which I'm not interested in. I, I reckon the real west, the real we wild westies live up here. Up here. Yeah, this is the wild west. Just turned 12, I hitchhiked north to wire two, run down farms, eroded hills, clay, skylines gaping red with clay, spending Easter with him in his shack of fibrolite and tin, and so on it goes. Thank you. It's my pleasure, it's my pleasure. Now, brother, you're regarded as New Zealand's legendary poet. Oh, yeah. Is that how you see yourself? No, I don't go in for that sort of stuff. I mean, a person who thought of themselves as a legend would be, in my mind, a total, utter wanker. <laughs> I don't even describe myself as a poet. The only, only time I'm a poet is when I'm actually making up a poem. Then I'm a poet. The rest of the time, I'm a bloke hanging around to, waiting for a poem. <laughs> <laughs> Mr Hunt, Prophet's I lover for letting us Sam, hang up please, here at your folly. My pleasure, my absolute pleasure. Great, I'd love to, you know, to meet you, yeah. Now, before we head home, the other three would love to meet you. Can we do that? I think that sounds like a good idea. All right, let's go find him. OK, here we go, after you. Thank you. <laughs> Down the stairs. Yeah, yeah. Right, come with the others. Everyone, this is the original Sammy. Oh, yeah, lovely to meet good you. To, good to meet you too, <laughs> good to meet you. Now, we want to say thank you to all of our Northland guests. Oh. Remember to keep logging onto that website to win those prizes and to watch us 24-7. Check us out right here. Thanks to you guys for coming on the road with us. Now, brother, we would love for you to take us away with a poem. Can we do it? Yeah. Yes. Okay. 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 Yes. Right. <laughs> I want to come back as a wave that in summer breaks in on beaches full of people in fibrolite batches. Stroke delicate down, slowly slip off your tiny bikini. I want to come back as a wave that scatters among the bathers, go down as they come up for breathers, splatter and spume at their ankles, make everybody beautiful. I want to come back as a, a wave, wave, so always <laughs> near, so out of reach, so when they run back up the beach, their glowing bodies fading home, my salt will still be upon them. I, I want, want to come, come back, back as a wave, wave that in winter moves on, no one will know where I'm gone. I will cruise some desolate part, say Shag or Pusiger Point. I want, <laughs> want to come, I want come back, back as, as a wave. wave. Oh, Jesus. Um... <laughs> Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.